I thank my friend Mr. Gilmert uh, for sharing his time with me this morning. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor retired United States Air Force Colonel Robert Darden Pete Peterson, who passed away on March the 2nd. Colonel Peterson was a member of America's greatest generation. He not only served our country selflessly during World War II, but also during the Korean War and the Vietnam War. He was born in Jones, Jonesboro, Arkansas in 1923. After graduating high school, Pete would go on to attend the University of Mississippi with a football scholarship. After his first football season at Ole Miss, he enlisted in the United States Army Air Corps to aid the war effort in Europe. Colonel Peterson was trained as a B-17 B pilot and became an aircraft commander at age 20. During World War II, he was a member of the 8th Air Force and completed 28 combat missions. After World War II, Pete briefly returned to civilian life, only to be recalled to active duty in 1947. He would serve as Assistant Chief of the Directorate of Combat Operations during the Korean War and the Vietnam War. He was responsible for all, all surveillance and control of the Strategic Air Command wing resources within, South, within Southeast Asia. During 1967 and 1968, Colonel Peterson served as air operations planner for all tactical and support air activities in the southern portion of North Vietnam, North Vietnam and the Southeast Asia interdiction area. He remained a combat pilot flying 19 combat missions in support operations in Vietnam. In 1968, Colonel Peterson was assigned to the Pentagon as Air Force Actions Officer for programs pertaining to the Strategic Air Command. In 1970, he was assigned to the Joint Chiefs of Staff Operational Directorate. Following his assignments in Washington, he accepted the post of Deputy Base Commander at Dice Air Force Base a Strategic Air Command base in Abilene, Texas. In 1976, Colonel Peterson retired from military service and lived most of his retirement years in Texas. During his 33 years of service to our country, he flew B-17s, B-36s, and B-52s and logged over 7,000 flying hours. He was so trusted and experienced that he was assigned to America's Nuclear Air Force and the Strategic Air Command. As a pilot, he was one of the first in our country to fly with atomic weapons and hydrogen weapons. Colonel Peterson was a highly decorated officer. His military honors include the Distinguished Flying Cross, the Meritorious Service Medal, the Air Medal, the Bronze Star, and numerous other medals and awards that reflected his dedication to serving our country in the United States Air Force. A review written by a commanding officer during Colonel Peterson's military career best sums up the way he lived his life at home and went on duty. The CO wrote, Peterson requires a lot of his crew. However, he gives more than he demands of others. Colonel Peterson passed away earlier this month and was laid to rest on March the 7th. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Colonel Pete Peterson. His survivors include seven children, 15 grandchildren, 17 great-grandchildren, and numerous nieces and nephews. He will be forever remembered as a patriot, a pilot, a soldier, a husband, a father, a grandfather, and as an American hero. We thank him and his family for their outstanding service and sacrifice to our country. As I close, I ask everyone to continue praying for our country during these difficult times, and for our military men and women who protect us from external threats and our first responders who protect us from internal threats right here at home. God bless our military men and women and God bless the United States of America. I yield back to the gentleman from Texas.